This is episode 114 of Tom's COVID-19 Shelter Music. All right. As promised, here's the second new acquisition. It's a record I've been wanting to have for many, many, many years. And I'm really excited to now have this in my collection. Just arrived today from a trade for another record. And uh, <clears throat> this is John Hyman's Bayou Stompers on Victor from 1927, recorded in New Orleans. All right, well, John Hyman was a, a cornet player who uh, played in a style very similar to uh, Bix Beiderbecke because he idolized Bix Beiderbecke, but he also idolized people like King Oliver and Louis Armstrong. Actually, uh, he actually saw King Oliver play live here in New Orleans before King Oliver went up to Chicago and wrote about it later. Uh, and even remembering things that King Oliver said and his reaction to people uh, asking for uh, request, you know, requesting tunes or the name information about the tunes they were playing and things like that. Really interesting stuff. Well, all right, so John Hyman, he came from a, a fairly affluent New Orleans family, and they didn't quite like it that he was playing jazz and that he was uh, using their name, you know, on a, a jazz record, this one right here. So he changed his name to Johnny Wiggs. And from that point forward, he was known as Johnny Wiggs, and he was a professional musician here in New Orleans. And uh, he uh, he's on some, some other 20s records with Tony Parenti, and I'd have to, like, really dig in to the... Uh, discography to see if there's others but uh, uh, he uh, also recorded here in the in the 40s and uh, 50s early 60s he uh, he's the guy that that went into the 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 hospital room of of the uh, great great and almost unknown guitarist from New Orleans snoozer Quinn when Snoozer Quinn was dying on his de deathbed, Johnny Wiggs in the 1950s, I think it was about 1957, went into his hospital room with a recording machine, you know, a disc recorder, and cut records right there in the room of, of, uh, of Snoozer Quinn playing guitar, and he plays cornet on some of them with him. Uh, that's the guy, Johnny Wiggs. So, uh, and he also taught music at Whirlines here on uh, Canal Street because... Uh, at one time, they actually had music lessons classes and band classes and things like that there in the, in the store. And I actually had a friend who had taken uh, one of his classes uh, when he was a youngster and uh, told me all about that. So Johnny Wiggs, Johnny Wiggs. I, I know I'm talking too much. Let's just get to the music. So here's a new acquisition. I'm going to listen to it for the first time with you guys John Hyman's Bayou Stompers, 1927, New Orleans. Ain't love grand. My living room to yours. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I've got tears in my eyes. That is such a great record. So there it is. John Hyman's Bayou Stompers. 1927, New Orleans. Yeah. And uh, the other guys on that record, well, it's John Hyman, later known as Johnny Wiggs on cornet, the leader. Charles Hartman, great New Orleans trombone player. Elry Maser on clarinet. Alvin Gotro on the harmonica. Horace Diaz on the piano. Nappy Lamar on guitar. You, you hear him on a bunch of records later on from New Orleans and from elsewhere. Great guy. I think we played, uh, I think we played uh, uh, Adrian's Tap Room Gang record that had uh, Wingy Manone singing on it. And uh, Nappy Lamar was a guitar player on that. So, And uh, Monk Hazel, great New Orleans drummer, Monk Hazel. All right, so there it is. Ain't Love Grand, John Hyman's Bayou Stompers, here on Tom's COVID-19 Shelter Music. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. And by God, keep listening to that really great jazz music. We'll be back on the next episode with the flip side of this great record. <laughs>